aortic regurgitation what we write as AR. So, first of all we see what are the causes of AR and it could be congenital. or it can be the one of the most common causes is rheumatic heart disease. It can occur in infective endocarditis also and it can occur in rheumatoid arthritis, it can occur in ankylosing spondylitis that means it may occur in many of the connective tissue disorder like also in SLE and pseudoxanthoma elasticum and it can occur in severe hypertension. It may occur in aortic dissection and seronegative arthritis was I was talking to you regarding ankylosing spondylitis. It may occur in Marfan syndrome and it may occur in syphilitic otitis. Now, how the patient come to us? Main thing is palpitation. is the most common symptom and of course, dyspnea can occur, but let us learn the basic concept why palpitation occur. So, to know the basic concept we talk about this is the heart and this is the aorta. Normally, blood goes in systole like this, but in AR blood goes in systole, but it come back in diastole. But in the next store, large amount of blood is pushed into aorta. Again, it come back. So, so in every beat, heart has to really push large amount of blood. That's why the commonest presenting symptom is palpitation. Dyspnea occurs in little later stage when the patient starts developing uh, congestive heart failure. Also, now what are the signs? Peripheral signs are very very important. It collapsing pulse, white pulse pressure and we get head nodding. This you can see head nodding is there. Now, you can a question is there for you. What is the name of the sign which you are seeing in the screen right now? Head nodding is there. What is the name of the sign and next video I will be showing you regarding dancing character also what is the name of this sign also quickly stop the video write down the answer. I hope you have written the answer head nodding is D mustard sign. Okay. Now, we got dozu sign or trop sign. Regarding top sign, you just put your stetho over the femoral artery. F A stands for femoral artery, and you hear like pistol shots. And this is top sign. Drosa sign, you slightly compress the stetho, and you get a to and fro murmur. This is Drosa's sign. Then this is so called classical dancing carotid. Okay. Again, start the video. What is the name? What is the name of this sign? The name of this sign is Corrigan sign. Dancing carotid. Similarly, even you can see movement in in uh, you can other artery also, but classically when we talk about peripheral sign dancing carrot it is a beautiful depicted in this thing. This is Corrigan sign, but one more thing this is Corrigan pulse. Collapsing pulse is also known as Corrigan pulse. And dancing carrot is Corrigan sign. Okay. Now, capillary pulsation over the nail pad, this you can see it here also. Now, tell me what the name of this sign, write down the answer. Well, the name of this sign is Quinque's sign, Quinque's sign. Well, Hill sign, BP difference in the systolic pressure 
in both upper and lower limb. Normal upper limb, the lower limb systolic BP is more than the upper limb, but this is usually less than 20 millimeter of mercury. But when the, this difference of systolic BP in upper and lower limb is between 20 to 40, if 20 to uh, 40 we call as mild AR, if it is between 40 to 60 millimeter of mercury we call as moderate AR and more than 60 millimeter mercury is severe AR. That means Hill sign also has a value in <coughs> telling the severity of disease. But by and large these are the peripheral signs of AR you should know in and out. This is the most important thing what examiner is going to ask you in the exam. Now, what are the precordial sign? You get displays and hyperdynamic apex beat what we call as ill sustained heave. Point to be noted in aortic stenosis you get sustained heave up apex speed but here we get ill sustained apex speed. Then what else we get? You get high pitch early diastolic murmur early diastolic murmur in the aortic area and it is best heard in expiration with pain, patient leaning forward. Then in severe AR you may get a functional murmur so called Austin Flint murmur. It is a very, very important question. Austin Flint murmur, F L I N T. It is a very, very important question. Austin Flint murmur. Remember, all named murmur are diastolic murmur. It is heard over the mitral area. It is a functional. And of course, there can be soft systolic functional murmur in the aortic area, uh, which mimics like aortic stenosis, but it is a functional. So, there are two functional murmur which can be heard in AR. One is at the aortic area, so called soft systolic murmur and other is the Austin Flint murmur which is heard over the mitral area. ECG will show you left ventricle hypertrophy, chest x-ray will show cardiomegaly, dilated ascending aorta and pulmonary edema may be there and echocardiography the diagnostic by which you can really diagnose the condition. Now what are the criteria of severe AR? The duration of murmur is two third of the diastole. That means again longer the murmur more severe is the is the AR. Then if third sound is there, fourth third sound is there, they are all marker of severity. Austin Flint murmur is there, Austin Flint murmur is there. Then presence of peripheral signs of AR, they are again indicate a severe disease. And cardiomegaly on chest secretory is again a criteria of severity. Now, what are the eco criterias? Regurgitant volume is more than 60 ml. Regurgitant fraction is more than 50 percent, or the orifice wall area is less than less than 0.3 square centimeter. They are all feature of severe AR. Well, when we are talking about management is concerned in the management. First of all, you have to go for diuretics and we can give digoxin if patient has heart failure and of course, we can give ACEI. Point to be noted that in, in, in fact, in all the valvular heart disease we use first line treatment is always diuretic, second is digoxin if patient has heart failure or atrial fibrillation, but ACEI we use only in regurgitant cases like MR or AR. This is not used in TS or MS. In stenotic lesion we never use, but in, in regurgitant condition we give so that we want to dilate the peripheral arterial and that should help in forward uh, flow of the blood. And finally, if not, then we can go for valve replacement. Indication of AR surgery, what are the indication of this thing? If ejection fraction is less than 55 percent 
और और इफ एंड का डायमीटर ऑफ इज मोर देन 55 मिलीमीटर तो विद दीज आर द टू इंपॉर्टेंट इंडिकेशन ऑफ सर्जरी तो लेट्स हैव क्विक रीकैप ऑफ लास्ट मिनर रिविजन पॉइंट अबाउट एआर इट कुड कंजनेटल आरएडी मोस्ट कॉमन कॉज इज आरएडी हाइपरटेंशन एंड कैलोजिंग स्पॉन्डाइलिटिस मार्फन सिंड्रोम पैल्पिटेशन इज द मेन सिम्टम और पेरिफल साइंस व्हिच आर द वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन व्हाट वी सी इक्लैपसिंग पल्स सो कॉल कॉरिगन पल्स वाइट पल्स प्रेशर Corrigan sign is dancing carotid and D muscle side is head nodding. The rose sign is you press the you keep stethoscope you hear a to and free, fro murmur over the femoral artery. Trop sign you keep your stethoscope over femoral artery you get pistol shots. Quinque sign is capillary pulsation over nail bed and hill sign is BP difference in upper and lower limb. Systolic BP. Precordial sign early diastolic murmur and Austin's flint barber. thank you very much for watching this video